Hey everybody, welcome to Rider 2 Brief. New video every Saturday, Saltwater Aquarium Care. Just wanted to show you a little setup um, to help you guys out and kind of like drive the point home on quarantining. Don't forget to check us out, Rider2Brief.com, the forum. Also, um, if you sign up to the mailing list, which is how I communicate with a lot of you, You'll get a free ebook on how to kill ick in your tank forever. Don't believe for a second that people say once you have ick parasite in your tank, you'll always have it. Ick is a dangerous, dangerous thing. It's a terrible thing, and it will kill your fish along with marine velvet. So, how do you prevent ick from getting in your tank? I've talked about this before. Check out my ick playlist and read the book. There's no such thing as once you have ick in your tank, you'll always have it in your tank. You can get rid of it. Like, for example, if you go to your kitchen sink and you pour a glass of water, is there ick in there from your faucet? No. Why? Because you did not allow it in. How do you allow ick in your tank? By buying a fish from your fish store, your reef store. Remember, they don't have a separate filtration system for every single fish tank. It's way too much money. All fish tanks run through one system. So if you think that by buying the one fish that looks healthy and avoiding the fish that's 20 tanks down the aisle, because he's got ick, it looks like he's got salt flecks all over his body. Don't think for a second that you're getting a healthy fish, because they're all, say, all sharing the same filtration system. So what do you have to do? You got to set up a separate aquarium, even though it's a pain. You got to set up a separate aquarium, salt water. What you need is a light. I love the LED lights from Phoenix. You need a heater to keep the water at 76 to 78 degrees. You need a little pump to keep some water flow in there, and you need some kind of filtration. I use the foam filter. It's awesome. Plus it oxygenates the water because all the bubbles are coming out. Um, now, what you would do is put your little fish in here, and you would get some copper by Coopermine. I'm sorry, some copper slash called Coopermine by Seachum, or Seachum, however you want to say it. Dose 50% of the recommended amount of what they say because if you dose what they say, it's incredibly close to toxic levels and your fish will die. You want to keep the fish in here. Now, copper solution kills the fish if you use too much. Instantly, kind of. It shuts down the nervous system and it's not good. So that's why you want to dose half. Copper will completely annihilate the ick on the fish or marine velvet you don't want to use it with coral you don't want to use it with inverts like snails and shrimps and all that okay so you want to keep him in there for like six weeks if you have him in there for five weeks and you get a second fish and you put him in guess what it starts all over again the clock so you got to start over over from ground zero and go six weeks now Here's what I meant when I said drive the point home. Why do I have my coral and rock with coral on it in a 20 gallon tall aquarium in the basement? Well, I wanted to show you what a second tank would look like to quarantine new coral that you get. Now, let's say, now, ick parasite eats your fish, right? It doesn't eat coral. But let's say you go to the store and you buy this zoanthid colony, okay? They're going to give it to you in water from the store. That water, if it's got ick parasites in it, guess what? So does that bag that you just brought home. So what I would do is not put this coral right in your display tank. Some people say, well, it only eats the fish. The parasites only eat the fish. Yeah, but if the parasites are in that water, they're going to certainly be in the rock. Remember, these things are microscopic, so you're not going to see them. I specifically took my coral out and my rock to show you guys, just to drive the point home. I had this extra tank laying around, and this is going to become my quarantine tank for corals. Because I'm going to get a couple corals in the next few days, and I'm going to place them in this quarantine tank. Of course, these don't have to be in there. I'm just putting them in here to show you 
you know what's going on plus I wanted to pull some rock out of my main display tank so I can get the rest of the sand out of there because I don't have sand bed in my tank and there's a lot of dirt trapped underneath these rocks so it's going to be easier to clean and siphon out by doing this plus you guys get to see what a nice coral quarantine looks like so you're saying to yourself wait a minute I need to have one quarantine tank for fish with copper solution in it and one quarantine tank for coral yeah if you want to be safe yes because remember copper doesn't go in here what happens to the ick parasites that come in on coral they're gonna die within six weeks why because their food source is not present in here that being the fish you never want to put a fish in your coral quarantine now you're probably saying Steve that's overkill I don't want to do that well that's fine but you know this is an extra second precautionary step to guarantee you will not bring ick into your main tank your main display tank should be the last tank anything goes in so if I buy a coral from the store BAM it's in here for six weeks no treatment necessary you do a water change once a week of like a third whatever there's only 10 gallons of water in here I'll do a five gallon water change totally cool there's no fish in here to have fish waste or urine so it's gonna be pretty much a clean tank and uh, what I wanted to, what I want to say is if you want that second level of security you want to have two quarantine tanks one for fish dosing with copper solution one with no copper solution for all your corals so all the ick parasite will die in here and uh, they'll be dead in the other one as well your other quarantine tank with the copper solution the links to everything I talk about is in the video description where you can purchase it I get all my stuff off Amazon and uh, that's it any questions or comments let me know I know you guys are thinking that's just crazy but guess what it is totally worth it you see I got this little thin lined banded shrimp I put that dude in there too just so he can be more at home I might keep him in my sump because I don't want him going after my snails um, so that's it guys that's it hope you're doing well thanks for subscribing give the video a like I just turned the light on so the corals are still waking up here's my star polyps they're coming out quarantining is really important really really important you might quarantine your fish and then you might dip your coral but dipping is not going to be good enough and then you put the coral in your main tank and then all of a sudden you got ick like a month later you wonder why your fish have like specks of salt on them well it came from somewhere probably came from the water that the coral came in on all right um, by the way when you get a new fish and you put them in one of these tanks uh, you got to do a 50 percent water change because when they urinate in the water it's ammonia and the ammonia will kill them you've got to have biological filtration <clears throat> so you want to have a rock from your display tank such as this without coral of course because coral will die from the copper that you put in there to kill the ick off the fish or you can get yourself one of these little foam filtration sponges which is what I use I leave this in my sump of my main tank for like a month when I know I'm gonna set this up let it harvest itself with beneficial bacteria the bacteria will grow on it bacteria is needed because the bacteria will devour that ammonia in your tank so if you know you want to set up one of these tanks get yourself one of these sponges let it harvest with bacteria for a month or two and then throw it in here or you could even use a sump sock you could throw a sump sock in here it won't look as pretty if you're into sump socks I don't use them I hate them um, but get something in here that's seeded with bacteria in this case all this rock is you know, I'm, I could put this rock back in because I only did this for di display purposes for the video but since I'm gonna buy another coral I might give the fish some extra swimming room with this extra rock not in it I'll buy my couple corals and throw them in here. I got a 40 gallon tank over here that I can use for a quarantine if my fish 
need to be quarantined. If there's an ick outbreak, you want to get all fish out of your main tank as soon as you can. All fish. Don't fall into the trap of, well, only one fish has it, so I'll just get him out. Nope. Once that ick is on the body of a fish, it's going to be in your whole tank. you got to get all the fish out and throw them in a quarantine tank with the copper solution. Fish only, no rocks, no sand. Just a heater, a little power head, and something to take all the mess out, such as these sponge filters that work great. They use these little pumps here, vibrate, that pulls the water into the sponge and out of the sponge so it oxygenates the water. And that's what all the waste and dirt is on the sponge. These work incredibly well, plus they're a great way to house bacteria in your tank. So that's Quarantine Tanks 101. If you want the extra level of security in this hobby, I highly recommend you get yourself a separate tank for the fish to use copper solution. When you bring a new fish in, keep them in there for six weeks, and you get a second aquarium for just your coral and your inverts, and of course put no copper in here. If you get a new shrimp, which I'm going to be doing, throw them in here for six weeks. You get a new snails, a bunch of snails, throw them in here for six weeks. Um, if there's any trace of any ick parasite in here, or on those critters that you buy, the inverts, they're going to die because they only eat fish. If there's no fish to eat, they're going to die. So that means after six weeks, you scoop the inverts out, you put them in your display tank. Way better to be safe than sorry, you guys. I'm telling you. We spend way too much money on fish and everything in this hobby. Don't let a stupid mistake like parasites kill your fish off. That's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.